Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt here with Funnel.Works. We're going to be taking a look at how to use ActionNetX MD to add an email sequence into uh, a new action funnel or what they're now calling follow-up funnels inside of ClickFunnels today. So let's take a quick look at how that works. Um, the first thing you're going to need to do, let's say you have an opt-in page. We're going to set up a delivery system. So an opt-in is an opt-in or a squeeze page and you have people opt in, give you an email address in return for something else like a checklist or a resource guide, an ebook, maybe an MP3, maybe you're just having them uh, subscribe to a podcast or something. Who knows, right? Um, in this case, today, we have a checklist and it's inside of this here page. Um, what I want to do is just show you guys how to ensure that people are added to the right list and that they are uh, consequently. Uh, actually, the delivery system is in place and that they actually received that checklist. So let's take a look at that. Uh, first, we're going to go in and make sure that the everything's set up on the inside of this page. We want to make sure that they're uh, going to go to the list. And I'll give you guys a link if you guys want to opt in for this down in the description. We're going to go to integrations here once you're on the editing screen. And then you're going to come over here and just check to make sure uh, that your, your integration is set up to go to uh, Actionetics, you're going to add them to a list and then you're going to add them to your prospect list. Um, and let me show you where that's done as well um, because you will have to do that before coming in here. This is an action, it's just a list that we set up inside of Actionetics. Okay, so we're going to go to Actionetics, we're going to go to email lists right here. And then what we're going to do is add new list. Normally you would just add a new list. I've already added that list, but if you were to add a new list, let's see, you clicked on that, you would give it a name and say prospects list testing. So I know if I should delete that later, testing. And then you can either make it a smart list. We're not going to get into the difference between smart lists and not being a smart list with uh, follow-up funnels or action uh, actionetics today. But the, the idea is that with a smart list, um, you can go in and create uh, rules and it will automatically populate a list uh, so that it, you can just automatically have a list of like all buyers, only people that opened up a certain email. Uh, you'll have a list of only people that have an action score of over 70 on Facebook, whatever it is, right? You can you can create smart lists that feature uh, a wide variety of, of tags. So we're just going to create a not smart list, and then you just create a new list, and then bam, you're going to have a list. I'm not going to add that. I don't really need it. But the bottom line is it would just show up as a list, right? Once you have that list created, that's when you're going to go back into uh, that list there. Uh, let's go back. Let's see if I can find that now. So we got CAC. We're going to go back in here. And then now you have, now you can go back in here and add that to that integrations via the edit page. Now what we want to do is set this up to deliver that uh, that checklist. So what we've done, we've created a checklist. We added it to our Amazon S3 account, FunnelWorks, pre-launch checks. I added that over here, and then we added that link into an email. Now, I'm going to show you where to put that email. There's two different places that you could add this. The first one is the automation tab. You simply add an automation where you add a new email. Um, but if you want to use, this is not going to add people to a list when you do this. So if you want to add people to a list, via the integrations and then send them in a one-off email this way this is one way to do that but there's there's really no follow-up sequence in place so what we're going to do again we're going to go to actionetics we're going to go to follow-up funnels and we're going to click on that this is another way to do this uh, and what we're going to do we're in the follow-up funnels funnel let's see if i could find what we did oh there it is ready for launch ready to launch we have to create a list first and then we create a follow-up funnel and associate it with that list you can see right here uh, it says ready to launch is the funnel uh, follow-up funnel name and then it's triggered when the contact joins the list ready to launch checklist okay and i've already gone through this process to make sure i knew how that worked but the idea would look like like this if you were to add a new follow-up funnel it would ask you for this information here. You call it prospects follow-up. So whenever somebody does that, uh, 
that whenever somebody is added to that list, then they're automatically going to get into this autoresponder or what they're calling a follow-up funnel. And then, of course, you can group tag it. Who will receive this follow-up funnel? You can come in here and say, okay, anybody that is uh, opted in for a thumb drive prospect, whatever, right? Then you can do that, create the follow-up funnel, and then it will take you to the next screen where you can add your first. I'm not going to add this again, but it would take you to the screen where you can start adding steps into that follow-up funnel. So let's go back and take a look at that page. All right, so ready to launch. It would essentially bring you here uh, before there's a first check. So what you would do is just add a new step. I'm going to go to the Add New Step button, and you'll see all these different Actionetics MD icons. All, the, all these are the different integrations that you can set up. Um, if you don't necessarily have it set up, then it's not going to do you any good. But you can see what we have plugged in with a little plug right here. In green, we have Aweber plugged in, Actionetics plugged in, uh, Ever Webinar is plugged in. A couple different things. So what we're going to do, we already know that we have a list. Um, I'm not going to go through every one of these right now. We'll be, we'll be making more videos about this in the future. But we're going to go into uh, add a new step. And uh, you can see I already made the immediate email on day zero. But we'll make a second email. And we'll set it up to go out on day two. Or day, in this case, one day later. Um, so what we're going to do is set up email messenger. All right. So we're going to say uh, second email goes out this day and then it's going to go out you can select which email it comes out from we're going to say from SendGrid, from me and then you can change the name of who it comes from so this overrides what's inside of SendGrid. okay we're not really going to add any uh any filters but it looks like they added this contacts who meet the requirements uh last engaged we're, we're actually going to take this all out. I'm not even sure why that's there. It might be uh, defaulted there. So what we're going to do is say, okay, this is what we want. Say next step. So then you would add uh, your, your subject line. Say, did you see this? And then pre-header is just basically another headline that only shows up on mobile devices. So when people are looking, they get a, basically a second, uh, like a first line of text so they can see if it's something that they're really interested in. So you can actually... Uh, hand create what that first line looks like and make it super interesting so they're like yeah I do want that so make it curiosity based uh, something like hey did you know do you know what happens do uh, crap do you know what happens when you fail to create a list in Actionetics right they might not know right did you see this? Hey, do you know what happens when you fail? They don't, they're like, I don't know. I don't want to know. Maybe I don't want to know. But I have to know now because I read this line. So you can do that. Choose the email template. Uh, ClickFunnels comes with a bunch. I've also got a couple uh, templates, so I'll just select one of those. And you can see it's actually making uh, a little preview over here in the far right window, which is kind of cool, so you can see what it would look like. Now, I'm not going to go through and edit this email. I'm just doing this so you guys can see what it would look like. Uh, so when you guys are trying to deliver your lead magnet, okay? So we want this to go out on day one or the next day. This is not the immediate email. We already set up an email to go out on day, uh, day zero, which would be immediate. And then that's a basic email that says, hey, thank you for requesting our ready-to-launch checklist. It, it should, it, you know, here it is. Here's a link. You can go download that. That's basically the idea. Now, with Actionetics MD, you can now create a push window uh, where you can actually say, I want my email to only go out between, say, 7 and uh, we'll say 9 a.m. That way people get it maybe when they're at work. You can add, you can also add multiple push windows. So if you want a second window uh, to go out between, uh, you know, maybe at the end of the day, because we know people check their, their email between 3 and 5. All right, now we have two push windows. You could do that uh, multiple times, and once you set that up, you could just say finalize. Oh, you have to sit, you also have to select which days. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you can select which days the emails will go out, and then we'll say finalize. 
That should work. All right, once you have this all set, we're not going to do this because I don't necessarily want this to go out, but you would just make this live and then it will automatically go out. Now, if you have a list like we did in this case of people who had been opting in for a while but did not get an email, what will happen is all those people, they say this has been active for three months and you've got, I don't know, 200 opt-ins or something and you make, a, you make your first email live, guess what? When you click make live, it's going to queue that email up to go out to every single person that's on that list. So it would go live and get queued up to send out to 200 people uh, that had opted in but did not receive any emails. So that was the uh, that was the glitch that I had run into, which is what spawned me thinking about making this video in the first place. So, so that's it. That's how you create a, a system. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, back up. I'm not actually going to go out, but if you, you're like, hey, I want to delete this, which I'm going to do with this. Second email, we're just going to delete that. And uh, that's it. It gives you a lot of stats, tells you what's going on. You can actually go inside. It'll give you some more information like who's opened, who's clicked, uh, you know, some good information like that. Um, there's a lot that you can do, especially with this new Actionetics MD. So, listen, if you guys want this checklist, I'll leave a link down below. If you guys want to know more about Actionetics MD, um, or you would like to have this upgraded in your account, I'll leave a link as to where to go and do that. Um, and if you guys don't have ClickFunnels at all, I'll also leave a link for that as well. Okay? So, hopefully you guys have found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in uh, subsequent videos that we're going to create as we're going through a whole series uh, videos on how to use the new Actionetics MD suite uh, that was just released at Funnel Hacking Live uh, just last week. Okay, guys, take care. I'll see you guys in another video.